Ooh, what's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again, big shout out to my doggy, Mighty Oak 77 for coming through and boosting up the coin. So, Anthony Robert Belchua has aired out Tyson oh, McGuinness for losing to Usyk. He said the following, I'm glad McGuinness isn't the undisputed champion. I've always said he's an idiot. He's very disrespectful. He has had, sorry, he has to step on people to make himself feel good. The way he disrespected Usyk, rabbit this and middleweight that, is not good for the sport. If I respect you and you respect me, we can lift this sport up and make people think we are two of the most elite heavyweight fighters in the world but McGuinness will step on you and make you look like a guy who's just walked out of a pub but McGuinness will step on you and make you look like a guy who's just walked out of a pub then he goes and gets spanked he deserves it listen we people we all know Tyson McGuinness Fury is a clown yeah but I have to say now again I only go based on what we see, people. I don't know AJ from Adam. What I can tell you is, as much of a clown as Tyson Fury is, I've never seen him actually politic. Don't get me wrong. Tyson Fury is more like Canelo. Yeah? He don't want to really fight top, top guys. He want to hang around. Yeah, he fought Usyk, but it took him damn near two years to get in there and do it. Right? But he want to hold the belts up. He don't go robbing belts, though. You see that one there? I believe... If you respected, I mean, AJ, if you respected Usyk, yeah? Now, again, we all, we, we all know Fury's a clown. He got punched up by the middleweight. The middleweight rabbit punched him up. In round one, Usyk knocked the shaitan out of Tyson Fury. In round eight, he got his nose, he got his booper bopped. Beep! On his nose. Lost his head. Shane Fury told you, hey man, Tyson, you got bopped on the nose in round eight and you lost your head. You lost your composure. In round nine, you got knocked out and saved by the federal authorities. So we know Fury a cornball. The issue is, I hate to say it, but this for me is a bit like the popcorn, the kettle black. And like I said, yeah, Fury is disrespectful, yeah, but when Fury lost to Usyk, all due respect to him. Yeah, he said, oh, it's because of the Ukraine, which is corny and disrespectful. But in terms of levels of disrespect... Imagine if Tyson Fury had a grabbed U6 belt here, that WBC, and threw it out the ring, right? People, why be you an AJ hater? Let's call a spade a spade here. What's more disrespectful? Saying it's a UK rob Ukraine robbery, or rob it, taking someone's belt that you lost, you lost, and then throw it out the ring. And then two years later, you politic, categorically, behind the scenes, Eddie Hearn, Turkey, was lobbying slash paying the IBF to pressure Usyk to drop the belt. I did a video on it. Usyk had no intention of dropping that belt, people. That's just a fact. Yeah? Because the IBF were trying to strip him before the Herkovich fight with Dubois. Usyk challenged it and said, no, I want my belt. Then all of a sudden, he gives it up. But in reality, it was going to be stripped. Because Eddie Hearn, Turkey, and the rest of the robber belt mafia... Robber belt for a bull mafia. Yeah, this was Operation Robber belt for a bull. People, that's the bottom line. All them clowns was behind the scenes lobbying against Usyk. And that was induced by UAJ. So, again, Fury's a clown, yeah, but you're actually more of a clown. To lose that belt to Usyk and not think to yourself, hey man, I don't want that belt that he beat me for. I don't want the IBF belt that he beat me for. I'll take the interim. People, the interim was on on the line anyway. Fact. Since Dubois beat Hergovic, I think Dubois fought Hergovic for the interim. AJ could have sat down and said, you know what? I don't want to be that guy. Oh, you, you already took the belts in a big huff, big spoilt huff, and threw them out the ring. So if there was ever someone who should be humble and say, hey man... I already disrespected you six belts once that he beat me for. Now I'm going to do the even even worse thing. Behind the scenes, trying to politic a belt 
away from music. That is low, people. Why me? You an AJ hater? Not at all. The facts I've given you there, yeah, as disrespectful as, you, as Fury is, yeah, there's levels. And the whole throwing the belts out the ring, that's like, whoa, you are a petulant, sport child. Yeah? You, if I was, people, if I was at AJ Camp, I'd have sat him on the step, take a breather, go to the naughty step and call off. That's what you need to do right now. Early bedtime for you, because you spoil. That's what AJ needed. But unfortunately, he's full of people, skins, AKA skin just trying to suck him off. And you best believe when AJ goes three times, yeah. All skins, all their man there. Three times, three times. It's embarrassing. That's the truth. That's disrespectful. To claim your champion when music's out there, still active, is unbelievably disrespectful. And I'm getting pissed off to some extent. I understand there's a lot of low IQ and low T individuals out there, yeah who don't really get morals and who don't really get what true respect is, but this, this, the heist here that AJ just signed off on. AJ could have, he could have been a, he could have been a light of respect, right? In these times, in these estrogenic and disrespectful times, AJ could have been a light in that and said, listen people, I, I want to be three time world champion, but I'll never do so disrespecting the champion music. I'll never do so sniding behind the scenes. AJ could have stood in the light and said, I don't want that belt. I'll whoop Daniel Dubois' ass for the interim belt and I'll, and I'll post up and I'll press you sick from that position. Because that is your people. Let's call a spade a spade here. Who thinks if AJ beats Dubois, he's actually world champion? Don't get me wrong, there'll be a few of you man up there, there'll be a few of you man here who are low T and highly estrogenic who will be like, yeah! Democratic, everyone gets a belt. Yeah? Everyone must get a prize, because it's these times we live in. There's no true winners, there's just losers and politicians, essentially. Which is why AJ is, people. A loser who's got good politics on his side. Yeah? That's what he is, categorically. You beat a mixed martial arts fighter. That's what you've done so far. To be fighting for the IBF world title. World title, come on! So I'm sorry, people. I'd love to come on there and roast you, sick, yeah, but I just can't. I mean, roast Fury, but he bad. We know that, though. You're supposed to be team humble. You're supposed to be team respectful. You're preaching about being respectful. If I respect... Uh, let's read the bars here. Yeah? Where is it? He has to step on people to make himself feel good. Anthony, you have to rob a belt from a man who beat you to make yourself feel good. Who do you respect? Right? Fact. And I'm actually shocked here. People are justified. People actually think here that what AJ did behind the scenes is okay. They actually think that. They think, well, and they, uh, people, I'm consistent. Yeah? Let me take you, man, back to I think it was 2021. In 2021, Alexander Usyk had only beat Chaz Lee and what's his name? And Chisora. And I said, and at, at that time, Usyk was politicking. To force the mandatory to fight AJ for the belt. And I said it was wrong. I said it was wrong because Usyk has not done enough at heavyweight. I was not backing that. I thought it was a cornball move. That said, fair play to AJ. He fought Usyk. So the point I'm making is I'm consistent here. I don't like people politicking for belts. Usyk should have, in my opinion, at that point, beat Chisora. Then at the time I was pitching for, which was a fight that was ordered, by the way. Usyk versus Joe Joyce was ordered. I said Usyk needs to beat Joe Joyce, and then, which he would have done, I mean, almost indefinitely, and then he for sure needs to get his go. What that proves is, there's no man fan in me. I go based on what's fair, what makes sense to me. And Usyk, he's cut through the Bois, AJ twice, Chisora, Fury once, fixing to be Fury twice. There's not one heavyweight dude right now who can talk about stripping Usyk. AJ would need to beat Dubois and then Zhang back to back for me to start saying, hey man, yeah, you're right, I think AJ needs a belt now. Because he, he's proven he needs a belt. He's proven at that point, and AJ who's beat Dubois and Zhang, yeah, he's proven he's a legitimate world title holder slash contender slash he's in the mix. He can be in the conversation with Usyk. As it stands, though, to take one of Usyk's belts and you have Inganu, who's 0-1, People, 
It's nuts. It's the pinnacle of disrespect. I don't even have to do nothing in the sport to get a belt. What was the last contender AJ beat? Huh? Which one? The last contender he beat, I'd say, would be Ruiz 2. Damn near five years ago. Right? Whichever one people forget about Pulev. Forget about Hellenius. Forget about Franklin. He didn't even knock these guys out, did he? He didn't knock Ruiz out. He didn't knock out Franklin. You went life and death with Hellenius till you found the right hand seven rounds in. That's the truth. Tony, we was worried for you, honestly. Tony Ballou, AJ's best friend, was worried for him. Oh, he look, he going outside and that's how he was looking. I'm gonna call a spade a spade. Robert Hellenius on two days notice and you was in there having trouble. You couldn't find the shot. So that's what means you're level ready to strip music. Come on, people. Give me a rest. Give it a break. The way he disrespected Usyk, rabbit this and middleweight that, and I got I don't agree with. I mean, I couldn't care less what Fury says to be honest. I don't care what people say. My my beef with Fury is he didn't go in there and do shit. He did zip. Yeah, for someone to be a middleweight, you're supposed to go in there and just cut through them like a hot knife through butter. That's how you deal with little dudes. If you're a big old bull, he didn't do that. So Fury is undoubtedly a cornball. And it's undoubtedly disrespectful for saying it was a political scam. But you and Fury are, even if you say, e even if you consider AJ robbing the belt and AJ throwing the belts out of the ring, on par with Fury in terms of disrespect. No one will ever tell me yeah, what Fury's done is less disrespect. Sorry, is more disrespectful significantly than AJ taking his, taking the belts he lost and throwing them out of the ring, and AJ going beh behind the scenes politicking for a belt. That is. In terms, if dis if disrespect here yeah, was ranked from zero to ten, those would be AJ's things are like eights and nines. Imagine people, Im just for a second, imagine Fury lost here yeah, and then he gets that WBC belt and throws it out of the ring. Can you imagine that? That is nuts. But when AJ does it, it's kind of like Eddie Hearn comes out. You know what I mean? He whitewashes it. Oh, you know it's a tough time for AJ. And you're a grown ass man. Because you can bet your bottom dollar, people, if Usyk had a loss to AJ, if Usyk had a loss to Fury, he wouldn't have been blaming the political situation. He wouldn't have been throwing AJ's belts out the ring. He wouldn't have been jockeying behind closed doors. Oh, I don't know, actually. Who knows what he'd have done. But would, it, would Usyk have lost and then been trying to shackle a belt? I don't think it's that likely, to be honest. But he didn't lose, ultimately, and here we are. Yeah, when you, Arguably... When you are a winner, like Usyk is, you get the benefit of the doubt. We don't know what he would do, so forget about him. What we know for a fact is, Fury cried about political people. It's a fight, yeah? If you're worried about the Ukraine situation having weight in a fight, you could have knocked his ass out, or you could have battered him. So so undoubtedly that it would clearly be. Let's say Fury went in there and knocked Usyk down three times and won eight rounds as well, and then he loses. Okay, yeah, definitely a political scam. You didn't do that. You lost anyway. Like <laughs> objectively, you lost. Yeah. So forget about that eight fury. Anyway, this sport, as we know, all sports, full of a people. You yeah, have a lot of egos. Now I'm not a historian, but look at there's good champions out there. Someone who comes to mind, someone like Roger Federer. I never saw Roger Federer super bitter about things. I never saw Tom Brady super bitter about things. Right, these are these are the old there's, there's old school cats who are bitter but these are true true champions man they take their wins and they take their, their losses and they brush off and come back but AJ and Tyson Fury are the same ilk but if anything AJ is a bit worse why he pretends Fury he tells you he on the sniff he says people you can never trust a sniff fiend that's what you can't do yeah so you take that as you will take Tyson Fury with a pinch of sniff that makes sense. Yeah, you know what he gonna be on. You know he doing some skullduggery. He a sniff fiend, right? So we don't expect people. What would you ex what do you expect from a sniff fiend? Nothing less. AJ, you're supposed to be the Queen's MBE, OBE, Lord Jos Lord Johnston, etc. etc. You're the one sitting here and again, Fury really wouldn't sit here and say, you oh, AJ disrespected this, he did that. AJ there, uh, he's sitting there acting like he Mahatma Gandhi, he's sitting there like his Kofi Annan of the United Nations. And you're not though, you Fugazi, right? So stop, drop this act now, yeah? You like to be disrespectful as much as the next man when it benefits you. And that's the bottom line here.
Anyway, let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe, let off the bell. No doubt about it. Stop it.